Hey guys, it's Beer Taster. Guys, how refreshing does that look? <laughs> this thing is carbonated like crazy. I opened this one up and just the foam just instantly started just pouring out everywhere. Made a little puddle down there. And uh, it's ice cold. It's hot outside, guys. This is looking real nice. It's Trader Jose Light. Trader Jose Light, premium beer imported from Mexico, 11.2 full ounces. Man, they're screwing me out of my 0.8 ounces. What's that all about? I didn't know that when I bought this thing. That's like the European measure. Man, this is made in Mexico and sold in America. I don't know why we're using the European measure here. But guys, this is Trader Jose Light. Trader Joe's, guys, they make this beer. Trader Joe's makes a lot of like house beers, which are actually brewed for them by other breweries. And this is their Mexican version, Trader Jose. Guys, they make a light, they make a regular, and they make a dark. And today I have all three, and I'm going to review all three of them. The first one I'm doing is this, Trader Jose Light. Guys, I think if you want to compare these beers to something, this would be like Corona Light like their version of Corona Light, then the regular would be like Corona, and the dark would be like Negra Modelo, or Corona Familiar, something like that, that style of beer. But this is the light, guys. I think it's equivalent to a light Mexican beer like a Corona Light. Made in Mexico, sold by Trader Joe, Trader Jose Light. And guys, it's in a clear glass bottle, which is terrible to protect the beer with, but they're nice to drink out of, guys, because... You kind of get that same experience of drinking out of a glass, but you don't have to have the glass. The bottle is your glass because it's clear. You can see it. And this one just has a killer head, guys. It's just foaming up. There's a ton of carbonation. It's got a golden yellow kind of, straw yellow kind of body. And, um, you know, it looks nice and, and light and refreshing on a hot day like today. So it's got a lot of head. The head's sticking around. Um, looks good. Let me give it a smell. It smells like sweet, lightly toasted malt. It's mild, but it smells like sweet, lightly toasted malt. Kind of like that Negra Modelo flavor you get. It smells like a light Negra Modelo. Smells good, guys. Smells similar to the way like Corona Familiar smells. Has that kind of like a darker Mexican beer. It has that smell, but lighter. Let me give it a taste, guys. Yeah, this beer. Now this beer is heavier bodied and has a heavier flavor than I expected for a light Mexican beer. Guys, the body on this, I guess it's light bodied, but it's on the heavier side of light bodied. I mean, this isn't like drinking Coors Light or Keystone Light, or Bud Light. Those beers are a lot more light bodied than this. This is, I would almost say this is like on the border of light and medium bodied. It's not super light, guys, but it's, it's still light and refreshing. The beer has a smoky, sweet kind of flavor to it with a little bit of like lemony hop at the end. It's not a bad beer, guys. I'm surprised at how good this is. Let me taste it again. Yeah, it's sweet, a little bit toasty, like molasses, molasses sort of thing going on but light then there's a dry bitterness at the end I think from hop that's like a hop bitterness guys it's just a little bit lemony just a little bit it's barely there but there's a definite you know, light bitterness at the end over that sweet smoky kind of body up front um, it's a good beer guys I don't see anything wrong with this beer at all the price for this now is 
549 a six pack at Trader Joe's. And you know, guys, I just got a six pack of these beers. You know, of the three different varieties, I got two of each. Um, they're good about letting you do that at Trader Joe's. You can mix and match. They just like charge each bottle what it they just charge each bottle one sixth of whatever its six pack price is. And they'll just ring up each individual bottle in the six pack. So it's good that they do that, guys. This is a good beer. This surprised me. I did not expect this to be so good. I mean, it's not fantastic. It's not like an excellent beer, but I would consider it to be good. It's a good beer. Nothing wrong with it, really. I mean, if anything, if I had to critique this at all, it's that it's not quite light enough for what I would expect from a Mexican light lager. Like, expect maybe something a little bit lighter. You know, lighter bodied, but... I really have no complaint that it has the body that it does. It's a good body. It's a good tasting beer, guys. It's hot out, and it's very refreshing. But it's really not all that watery. I mean, it's definitely beer. I'm definitely drinking beer, not something that's really watered down at all. It tastes like a beer, like a lager. And it's good. It doesn't taste like a watered down adjunct product. I mean, it tastes like a beer. Like a really malty, not really malty, but... A malt flavored beer. It's good, guys, with a light hop bitterness at the end. I like it. It's got a lot of carbonation. And the head dissipated, but it foams right back up if you shake it. It's just super carbonated. I didn't put a lime in it, guys. I'm not putting a lime in any of these. Um, you can if you want, but I think if the beer itself is good, it doesn't need it. But it's good with a lime, too. There you go, guys. Trader Jose Light. I was surprised at how good this is. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this beer? Do you like this beer? If you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. And leave me a comment about what you think. I think it's pretty good. And um, I would drink it again, especially if someone offered it to me. This would be nice, like, if you're going to the beach or you're going fishing, going by the pool, that kind of beer. This is nice, guys. It's a nice, good quality beer for that type. Trader Jose Light, guys. Give it a try. It's pretty good. Enjoy.